Timothy Vijila Satanathan. Thank you. Sir, I thank you for the opportunity to speak on the prohibition of e-cigarettes bill 2019. I welcome this bill. While welcoming this bill, I appreciate the Honorable Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshavardhanji, the Honorable Minister of State for Family Welfare, Shri Ashwini Kumar Chaubeji, who has piloted this bill. The aim of this bill is to protect the people, especially the youth, from the harmful effects of e-cigarettes, which produces aerosol salt by heating a solution containing nicotine and thereby e-cigarette increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases among human beings irrespective of the age factor. The bill seeks to prohibit the production, manufacture, import, export, transport, sale, distribution, storage and advertisement of electronic cigarettes including all forms of electronic nicotine delivery system, heat not burn products in e uka etc. But uh, as my predecessor spoke, the same thing, actually the nicotine con uh, content is more in the ordinary cigarettes than in the e-cigarettes. So why ban e-cigarettes? Ban the whole cigarettes from the country. That's what is our prior request to the government. I express my congratulations towards the recent action taken by our Honorable Prime Minister of India for banning these e-cigarettes in India. As we are all aware, the use of tobacco is a prominent risk factor for six to eight leading causes of death and almost 40% of the non-communicable diseases, including cancers, cardiovascular diseases, and lung disorders are attributable to tobacco use. As such, the cons consequent burden of mortality and morbidity due to consumption of tobacco is very high in India. The number of deaths every year in India which is attributable to tobacco is, is almost 13.5 lakhs. And your endeavor, Honorable Minister, your endeavor to improve public health and especially in tobacco control by introducing 85% graphic health warnings on tobacco product packages is highly commendable. I also congratulate you, the minister and the ministry for bringing in an ordinance and banning these e-cigarettes from India. As you are aware that Central Tobacco Control Act, namely the cigarettes and the other tobacco products, prohibition of advertisement and regular regulation of trade and commerce, Production, Supply and Distribution Act 2003, the CODPA Act is may in many ways aligns with the international treaty, the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, of which India is a signatory, but there are some key gaps which need to be addressed. There are some lacunas which has to be addressed. The said act was enacted with the objective to discourage the use or consumption of tobacco products and to improve public health in general. However, it has failed to achieve its objective, primarily to the glaring gaps in the act. I wanted to mention the lacunas. I wish to draw the attention of the minister. Code Pact 2003 presently allows smoking in certain public places like restaurants, hotels, airports, and even in the parliament. We have a designated place for smoking in the form of creation of designated smoking areas. Completely we have to disallow. Stop this. You, this bill has to enforce that this but certain public places designated smoking places should be abandoned. Advertisement and display of tobacco products at their point of sale should be comprehensively banned. Advertisement and display of tobacco products at the point of sale. In the shop, they are having big, big posters. 
it should be comprehensively banned and kotpa also has no provision to counter sale of single cigarette single cigarette they will give in all the petty shops single cigarette they will go they will give so we there has no provision for counter sale of single cigarettes or flavoring of tobacco products my pre, oh, former speaker said my flavoring of tobacco products which is the main reason for youth being attracted for tobacco use even in small sachet papers sachet uh, it comes like um, i i don't know the names many names are there uh, so many small small po pockets it comes so it is it has a flavored tobacco products flavored so the youth are attracted the drivers the drivers mainly with a for to to stop sleeping they put this uh, flavored tobacco uh, products so it has to be burned uh, banned further the penalty for offense under this act is too inadequate to act as a determinant so this is very very nominal for uh, nominal what you have given is even the e cigarettes it's a very meager amount you have to enhance the uh, the fine amount raising the legal age of consumption of tobacco products from current 18 years to 21 years so you have to raise the consumption of uh, from current you have to increase the legal age of consumption of tobacco products now it is we are we have to enhance it to 21 years thus there is an urgent need to amend code part 20 2003 and remove the lacuna in the act which is which are not only contrary to the global best practices but also international convention to which india is a party hence in the interest of public health i request you to consider the proposal of introducing a bill to amend the kotpa 2003 in the parliament soon and also the who framework convention on tobacco control also every year it releases a report of global tobacco epidemic which uh, cities country level complaints with key policy areas so according to that also the best practice standard should be adopted and covered in the code pa smoke free environments and tobacco advertisement should be totally banned and the effective implementation of code pa Uh, results in the key findings of gats 2 the relative reduction of 17% in prevalence of current tobacco use since gats 1 including a 24% decline in smoke tobacco use because of the clear effectiveness of the 85% warnings which the government imposed we have now have the declining of uh, the tobacco uses and 33% decline in prevalence among young adults aged 15 to 24 so it has to be 15 to 24 age group should above, should have this um, should not use it and completely abolish designated smoking areas in airports hotels restaurants and even in the parliament and uh, 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 comprehensive smoke free laws that include workplaces restaurants bars are estimated to reduce the risk of uh, especially in my areas there are so many bd workers who deal in this and many of them they get uh, respiratory problems only because of bd rolling so they, they should also be taken care and my bd workers 1 lakh bd workers are dependent on that uh, industry in my place in tirunelveli district so it is very important to take care of their health also so do the more we need an alternative way of living because they don't have any other living except that bd work rolling so we we have to find if we ab abolish the way of bd bds in the practice then we have to find an alternative uh, uh, employment opportunities for the people who are now in the uh, in the business of bd rolling in the works as a bd workers laborers so i i now propose that totally a ban to these bd 
BDs as well as cigarettes will cause a major uh, employment havoc in my uh, in our state. So I need that has to be reconsidered and also uh, not for reconsidering, they have to reconsider for an alternative arrangement for their employment and uh, prohibit the sale of um, uh, e-cigarettes and also and uh, this, the cigarettes which have more nicotine has to be done. A study assessing data from 130 countries found out the point of sale advertising bans are significantly associated with reduced smoking experiment among youth. And also a study reviewing data from 77 countries estimated that having a point of sale display ban reduced daily smoking of about 7%. So establish fines large enough to deter violations. Establish a system for increasingly severe penalties for repeated violations. Provide authority for MOH, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, to revise penalties through rules. You have to make rules. Ensure that all okay. offenses are cognizable. Thank you. With these words, I support this bill. Thank, Thank you. you.